Hi there, my name is Paul. Back in 2009, I made a video in which I showed how to make waffles. Well, the problem is, is that in the process of everything that happened, including my landlord not paying his, his mortgage and I'm getting evicted, and all the other stuff that happens when, quite frankly, you're in a wheelchair, I forgot about it. So now it's time that I do something about it, which is to um, edit the video and release it to you. So anyway, here's the video from 2009. Hi there. I'm going to show you how to make waffles. For that, we are going to need one, waffle maker, two, mixing bowl, three, something to stir with, four, waffle mix, five, oil, six, water, Seven, which is optional, cooking spray. Eight, one cup measuring cup. Also optional, set of tongs, but they help. You can use a fork if you don't have tongs. I have a small problem. For some of the measurements I have to do, I have to have a one third cup, which I can't find. So to substitute for that, I will use a two thirds cup. I'll show you how to work it in a moment. To make waffles, I need two cups of flour. I'm going to use this to measure. There wasn't enough in this old box, so I will. I will use a fresh box. One cup of flour two cups of flour. Next, I need one and one-third cups of water. Since this is two-thirds, I can use two of these. Because one, two-thirds plus two-thirds is one and one-third. Now, to solve the problem of not having a one-third, because I need one-third cup of oil. Hi, I'm going to interrupt here for a moment and point out something that I didn't realize at the time I made the film. There are two ways in which you can get one-third of a cup of liquid when you have a one cup and a two-thirds cup. One is to fill the one cup full, then pour it into the two-thirds cup. The other is to pour the two-thirds cup twice into a container and then from that container fill the one cup. Now, this container will also have one-third of a cup. This is similar to an incident that happened in the movie Die Hard 3 when John McCain and Zeus are trying to get exactly four gallons of water when all they have is a five-gallon jug and a three-gallon jug. And now, going back to my one-third of a cup, you'll see exactly which solution I chose. I need another bowl. Now, I will do the same thing, and you'll see why I need another bowl, instead of just pouring it in there, because I don't need this much. It's that I have two-thirds cup, so I will pour out two-thirds cup of oil into this bowl, and another two-thirds cup. Well, what do we get, again, when you have two times one, two times two-thirds? One and a third. So now, if I take the one cup, I'll have to rinse it out because it's had flour in it. So now I'll take one-third of a cup, and no, excuse me, I will take one cup of oil back out of the bowl. Now that I've taken one cup, what I have left is roughly one-third of a cup. This oil can be put back in the bottle or used later. Next, according to the box, I need to stir the batter. And just stir this up. my waffle maker forward in order to reach the electric plug it's using. 
when mixing it up, you want it to be thick, but not too thick. If it seems a little thick, you can add a little water, but if you do add water, add it a spoonful at a time, and that means a tablespoon or a teaspoon at a time, because you want it to be thick. If it's too thin, the waffles won't work. You'll get, um, you'll get a mess. And that's about right, so. Next, the waffle maker here opens up, and it is hot. So, I'm going to spray the waffle maker. Very short bursts, just enough to coat the two sides. Actually, I can use a little more if I want the taste to go through. I don't put the cover back on all the way because it's hard for me to get off. My hands don't always have enough strength to pull. So. Anyway, next thing is to use a cup. I like to use a cup for the batter, and I could just pour it out of a bucket. But considering the size of this waffle maker and container here, to pour from the center so that will coat the entire pan. this down, flip this over, and I'm going to set the timer on this for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Now, that's how I like it. You can cook it a little longer if you want it. Um, this has a, this has a built-in timer, so I don't have to watch it. But otherwise, you have to work by trial and error to just guess approximately how long you're going to need it. Now, I'm going to cut the uh, video to um, eliminate this because no one wants to sit around and watch this steam for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I also need a plate to put it on. Power's halfway. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is beeping. Take a look at that. I was trying to get the wrong side. That, that is probably one of the most perfect waffles, and it's just about right. So now, what I'm going to do is, it'll get a little crispier if I don't spray it again, so. basically you want to coat the whole thing. If the batter is too thick, add a little bit of water, too thin, put more pancake batter, put some more uh, pancake batter in and then stir it up again. Oh. And again, and in the meantime, and do is get some butter on the refrigerator. I'm going to add pork. Oh, there's one. Let's 
put it straight out of the fridge. A lot of people will, if they're going to have waffles or something, they will set butter aside. Beep to tell me it's ready. And there we have yet another one, almost perfect. That's a little bit short at the end. See that's the main, so all I need to do is first unplug my waffle maker since I'm finished. To mix it up for two good sized waffles. I'll add a little more butter, which is a little harder to do for the type of day stiff. So anyway, now all I have to do is add syrup and there you have how to make waffles. Now that you've seen the whole video, I'd like to mention one other thing which I didn't discover until after I had edited two things. One, the original video was one continuous take and it took 35 minutes. And the second is, I discovered a second video I did of me making waffles back in 2009. So it is entirely possible that I will have a second video, which is why I named this one Waffles Number 1 from 2009 because I may find I have a second video. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and um, if you want, you can leave a comment below or send me an email. Thank you. Email paul at paul-robinson.us